Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Whitney and today I wanted to come at you guys with another Moving Up Monday. But today this topic we are going to focus on the interns. So you guys finally passed through, you know, the interview stage. You know, we got it. We may not be in a full-time position, but we're an intern. It's likely. It might happen, right? So what do you do when you get there? Well, let me tell you, right? Depending, it doesn't matter like how long you are going to be an intern, right? These tips are definitely going to help you, you know, as far as getting that job, getting that full-time position, or just, you know, making a lasting and great impression, whether or not you get a full-time employment at that place, right? So first I wanted to help you guys. And I wanted to say, show initiative. Duh, right? Like you're probably like, okay, well, that's nothing new. Thank you for telling me something that I already knew, right? It's actually very important, right? Showing initiative is basically the umbrella of everything that I'm going to tell you for the rest of the four tips. So showing initiative basically proves that you want to be there. It shows your excitement at that job and it lets others know that, hey, like they actually really want to be here. They're not just, you know, trying to be here just to have another, you know, thing to put on their resume. They want to work for us. Even if you don't and you're really just there just to put it on your resume, you can't let anybody else know that, you know, like, come on, like, that's, just, that's just not smart. Ask questions. I cannot tell you how many times I've been told this, you know, with all the internships that I've had, that sounds like I'm bragging, but I'm not trying to, with the internships that I have had, like, I've been told, you know, like, by other people telling me like ask a lot of questions people love it when you ask questions like um just you know even if you know the answer ask the question it just goes back to what i was talking about the umbrella of showing initiative it shows that you genuinely care it shows that you actually want to be there you actually want to learn about everything that you're doing for example if you're working at a technology company you're not going to know all the software that they use you're not going to learn all the programming language languages that they use if they use more than one right you're just going into a new place of employment you're not going to know a lot of things so even if it seems dumb ask the question in that sort of environment as an intern there's no such thing as a dumb question for legal interns same thing right let me not speak on legal inter interns because i don't know if like they assume that you already know things and they're they're challenging you but i feel like it's kind of like the same thing right show initiative ask questions even if you already know the answer be like I'm gonna ask the question and say, okay, that's what I thought, but I just wanted to make sure with you. That way, you and your supervisor are on the same page, right? Nobody's gonna be guessing, right? They're all gonna know where you come from, what you're going to do, and how you're gonna implement that. Three, say good morning, goodbye, good night, hello to everybody. Make sure everyone knows your name. They don't need to know all the other interns' names just best believe if they see you in a group of people they're gonna be like oh that's Whitney I worked with her or that's Whitney you know she's a great worker she she shows a lot of initiative right saying good morning puts you on good foot starts you off on the right foot for one and also it lets you know that you know well it doesn't let you know but it lets everyone know that you know you enjoy being there I keep saying that but it's just like that's the key factor when you're working at a place of employment and you're simply an intern right don't think don't undermine your position by any means necessary but you also have to understand that it's just like there's certain things that you cannot do and there's certain things that you have to prove as you are an intern you want them to know that you want to be here and by doing that you're going to say hi to everybody you're going to say good morning to everybody you're going to show caring you're going to show that you can be talked to that you're approachable and ain't none of this rbf right you don't want any of that by any means necessary next ask to go to meetings that you are not a part of right so you can work for example you can work in like a scrum team so what a scrum team is at a technology company is that you have you know everyone who is kind of like in different positions so you work in a team together and you may have two technical writers you may have like two um subject matter experts you're gonna have the scrum lead who's going to be managing all of that and then you're gonna have like an engineer a coder like things like that right depending on what tech what tech company you work at or what you know sort of group is set up whatever the management sets up etc right say you're in that group setting right and you're an intern and you're just sitting around and you don't have anything to do but you're watching everybody you know say like oh i got a meeting at one or like you see them go into a room or collaborative collaborative room and they're just in there for a minute and you're like I wonder what the hell they talking about right ask to go 
asking to go to meetings that you are not a part of shows that you want to be a part of the company i don't know how many times i can say this you know it just shows that you want to learn that you are interested in what everyone is doing that you want to be a part of their business and you want to contribute. Not only do you want to contribute, but you want to become a valuable asset that this particular company would need in the future. And also don't you know think that you're automatically gonna work here for the rest of your life, which leads me to my next tip. You are replaceable until you get that full-time position. All those tips, take all those five tips, put them into one and label it something like you're showing interest, showing initiative, you want to be there and you're not deceiving anybody. You're not only doing this because you know, you don't want to learn and you just want to make some money. No, that's not how we're going to do this, right? Because people will easily pick that up if you're just sitting there and they're just like, you know, they're just collecting a check. They're not doing anything. So we're going to have to let them go, right? I just wanted to let everyone out there who's, you know, just starting a new internship, who's trying to get internship and want to maintain the internship, right? I just want to let you guys know that there's a few more steps that you got to do once you land that internship, right? So don't, you know, think that, you know, your life is finally set now that you got this job at this great company because it can easily be taken away from you just like that. As soon as they feel like you're replaceable or there's someone better, you're out the door, bro. Because why? You're an intern. You're not getting any benefits from them. The only thing you're getting is like a check. So I'm just being real with you, right? So, you know, think of the steps that you're going to continue forward as you are this intern, as you're jumping into this beautiful field that you're trying to get into, right? Don't lose yourself don't think that you're set just because you got you know a great pay as an intern you know keep going forward and remind yourself that this is the job that you want to work at or that this is going to be a worthwhile experience but it's what you make of it thank you guys for joining me today my name is whitney don't forget i am trying to start a segment on my channel where you guys send me whatever problems you have whatever questions you have as well and it's going to be on the screen my email is writers one world at gmail.com send it there and if you don't see it on the screen which i don't know how it's also in the description box down below and while you're down there don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss when i post a new video thank you guys i'll see you next week